Good morning. I'm reading from the book of Exodus, and I'm reading the passage in Exodus 20 where God gives the Ten Commandments. Now, the people were terrified on this day. The mountain was thundering and, and, and smoking, and there was lightning. And, and so it says in verse 18, all the people saw the thunderings, the lightnings, and the noise of the trumpet, the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, speak thou with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said unto the people, fear not, for God has come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. And the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. And so we see, we see God give the law. Now the law has a very specific purpose, okay? The law... Uh, it shows us our sin. Romans chapter three, verse 20 tells us this. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight for by the law is the knowledge of sin. So what that says is the law can't justify you. It just shows you how sinful you are because we've all broken it. And as the people heard that law that day, they heard those 10 commandments. They were terrified because they, they knew they couldn't keep them. And they haven't been able to keep them. No person has been able to keep them. There's none righteous, no, not one. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So God's law shows us our sin. And it leaves us in a helpless, hopeless state because it shows you how sinful you are, but it can't fix you. You can't fix yourself by trying to keep the law. And so God gives the law and then he gives a mediator. This terrifies the people. They're scared to death and they say, hey, don't, we don't want to hear that again. We don't want to hear the voice of God again. You talk to God and we'll listen to what you say. And so Moses is the mediator for the people. Well, he's a type of Jesus Christ because the New Testament tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. So God gives us a mediator. So Moses is the Old Testament type of, of the mediating ministry of Christ. So, so one hand on God and one hand on the people. That's what a mediator, he's a go-between. And so Moses goes to God on behalf of the people. He hears from God. He comes to the people on behalf of God. Well, that's Jesus. And Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There, no man comes to the Father but by me. So the mediator, the one mediator between God and man is Jesus Christ. But God didn't leave the people in a hopeless state. The, the law crushes you, it kills you, it shows you how sinful you are, and then gives you nothing to help. So God goes on, after the people let this sink in, that they're terrified of this, uh, the voice of God. Verse 22 says, the Lord said unto Moses, thus shall thou say unto the children of Israel, ye have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold. An altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, thy peace offerings, thy sheep, thine oxen, and all the places where I record my name. I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. And if thou wilt make me an altar of stone, thou shalt not build it of hewn stone. For if thou lift up thy tool upon it, thou hast polluted it. Neither shalt thou go up by steps unto mine altar, that thy nakedness be not discovered thereon. God gives the people an altar. <clears throat> And he tells them how this altar is to be constructed. They're not to make idols of gold and silver. If they're going to make an altar to offer sacrifices, they're to pile up earth, very simple altar, or they're to pile up stones. If they hew those stones, if they take and cut those stones and make them nice and square or nice and round and fit, they've polluted it, he says. Well, this is as well a type of Jesus Christ. Not only did God give the law that shows us our need for a savior, he gave us a mediator in Jesus Christ, Moses being the type of it. And Jesus Christ came to give his life an offering, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And so he gives the altar. And William MacDonald said this, and I love it. The altar speaks of Christ. Man can contribute nothing to the perfection of Christ neither tools of self-effort nor steps of human achievement can man bring. <laughs> and I love that. This altar was piled up and they offered the sacrifices on it. You can't do anything to add to what Christ has done. Our human effort, our human achievements, they're filthy rags before God. We must trust the finished, perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day.